you have a better shot at catching a six pounder today or Corona? Fish. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, he's big. Oh my God, he's a freaking giant. It's a giant. Don't fall. Don't fall. Get the net, babe. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and we're doing some good old social distancing out here in the middle of the <laughs> lake today. We're out here in the boat, kind of one of our favorite little lakes and today we're trying to catch some big largemouth bass. It's a beautiful day. It's like 75 degrees when you say. Yeah, it's awesome we Got a here. slight breeze, got some clouds rolling in and these conditions are setting up really nicely for us to hopefully be able to get on some fish today. So hey, if you're new to the channel, this is your first time watching and you love fishing, go ahead and do us a favor, hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I'm ready to start flinging some baits out there into some big fish's mouths, what do you say? Let's go! Let's do it, let's catch some biggins, Jay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm starting off the day with and what I quite honestly might throw the entire time we're out here and that it is this bait right here. This is the Babe, this is from Fishing for Five. And it is one of my favorite swim baits to throw. It's a six inch harness swim bait. And uh, I love this bait because it has great drawing power, has incredible action in the water. And this particular body of water has a ton of large bait fish, mostly gizzard and threadfin shad. And uh, the big fish really key in on these big bait fish. So I'm trying to imitate the natural forage and this is a great way to do that. So we're gonna throw this guy out there. And uh, like I said, I may not put this rod down for the whole entire duration of today's outing. I brought like, we brought like six or seven rods, but this is what I wanna throw. And if I can get a bite on this, it's gonna be hard for me to put it down. You have a better shot at catching a six pounder today or Corona? Fish. Fish, he's not very big. He's very small. I don't even know if it's a bass. That's hilarious. That's so stupid. I guess I have a better shot at catching a fish today. Is it a bass? It's a bass. It's a bass. It's not a big bass, but it's a bass. Whoa! That's all I wanted today, guys. That's all I wanted. I wanted it to be a little bigger, but I just wanted to come out here, go through the motions, throw a big swim bait around, and uh, catch me a large mouth. We just moved over here to this different little section here where it starts to taper off, get a little bit deeper. And let me show you something real quick, guys. Let me get him unhooked. The babe is out. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but down that fish's throat, you can see a forked tail, which looks like to be a large bait fish. Fish is definitely healthy. And on this other side of him, look at that. Got a nice beauty mark. That is not the monster fish we are after, but that is a fish and I am stoked jacked that was first cast over in this spot maybe there's a big one out there okay we're gonna send this guy back thank you for making my day little dude peace oh. Bye. oh he just spit it look at that there's that there's that shed heck yeah let's send this back out there and get one about six times as large I think that would put it at around eight pounds for six times bigger than that last one. <laughs> it really doesn't matter what the end result is, small fish or big fish, when you get that thump on the end of your line when you're throwing a bait like this, it's a pure adrenaline rush. Fish on, begging, begging. Bigger fish, good one. No, I got him, I got him. Guys, we're on him. We are on him. Throw out there, Jay. He's not as big. He's a good one, though. Come here. Come on. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm freaking talking about. We're getting bigger, guys. We are getting bigger. Slide adjustment just moved over just a bit. Look at that, babe. All up in that thing's face. It's about a two and a half pound fish. We will see you later, buddy. Yes. Freaking yeah. Oh my god. 
Got him. Got him. I don't know how big he is. It's a little bit smaller. Not huge. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, he's big. Oh my God, he's a freaking giant. It's a giant. Don't fall. Don't fall. Get the net, babe. Get the net, Jay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Net him. Net him. Oh, 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 oh. Are you serious? Look at that fish, guys. Wow. Are you serious? We literally just moved over like 60 yards from where we started at and uh, chunking this babe out there. Look at that. Caught a small one, caught a medium, and now we got a big one. I got a scale. It's going to be like four and a half, maybe close to five pounds. But look at that. Head chuck that thing. I think it's got dude going over getting on our spot, but whatever. I don't care. Oh, that's awesome, guys. Ken, let's go. Oh, I'm shaking, guys. I'm freaking out. I am they get a little bit bigger every time you catch one. We're about to catch an eight pounder, guys. <laughs> that's sick. Let's get a weight on this guy real quick. All right, guys, let's get a good look at this fish. Unfortunately, I just figured out that my scale is dead, so we're not able to get an accurate weight on this or completely accurate, but I think this fish is getting really close to five pounds. It's a high four for sure. But I'm a little flustered right now. While I was catching those fish, there was a guy and he was watching me catch them. And unfortunately, while we were messing with this fish, he's pulled up right on top of where I've been casting at, which is super rude and super disrespectful. Like, if you're on the water, you see somebody catch a fish, don't be like that guy. Don't do that. It really sucks. But anyways, we're gonna get back after it. I think he's just throwing a snake go. We're throwing the big baits. We're catching the big ends. And we're gonna get this guy back in the water and I think we'll catch another one, maybe even bigger than this. Woohoo! Beautiful fish. This is what we came here for, guys. All right, let's get it back in the water. Last look, let's send her back. Oh, thank you, I love you so much. Be mean. There she goes. Nice one. Let's get a bigger one, guys. My turn. We can do it. Yeah, you need to get a bigger one. You want to tie one of those babes on? Sure. Okay, let's do it. All right, we made a bunch of casts. It's that little flurry, but no more bites. I have to blame the old man for blowing up our spot, but that's okay. It's whatever. We'll find another spot here somewhere, hopefully. But we're going to take a second to go over the gear we're using to catch these fish today. You know, we're throwing big baits. We have some specialized gear for the big baits. So let's show you exactly what we are working with. I mentioned already, this is the Babe swim bait. It is a harnessed six inch lure, and this is a color called Rhino Licious. It's kind of like a chartreuse shad, and this is one of my favorite swim baits. I love to throw harnessed and line through swim baits, and I throw a bigger size because they have a lot of drawing power, and at the six inch length, you can catch the smallest fish as well as the really big fish. Now, I'm throwing this on 20 pound test fluorocarbon line. You can go down to like 15 pound fluorocarbon, you get more action the lighter line you go, but I like to keep it big and powerful because I know there's a big fish out here, and I don't want to mess up if I get bit. Now the rod that I'm using is a really awesome rod. This is a six cents rod. It's a seven foot nine inch extra heavy swim bait rod and it's got a full EVA foam handle grip. I really, really like the EVA foam. And then the reel that I'm using is a Shimano Tranks 300. It's a 5.8 to one gear ratio reel. It's got a ton of cranking power and it has a big line capacity for holding this big heavy fluorocarbon line so I can make really long casts. I can have power and whenever I get a bite, I can get that fish into the boat. So that is the gear we're using today to catch these fish. We'll leave it all linked in the video description. If you want to check out anything from Six Cents, be sure to use our code CJ10 at checkout. You can save 10% on all of your Six Cents orders. But with all that being said, let's cast this thing back out there and get it back swimming. And hopefully put it right in front of a big fish's face. All right, we just went over the gear we used to throw the bait, but now let's talk about how you actually fish this bait. So first you're going to make a really long cast and then you're gonna let it sink down to your desired depth. This bait sinks about one foot per second. We're letting it sink just, you know, two or three feet, maybe four feet before we start working it. And then I like to give it a couple pops to get the bait going. And then all you're gonna wanna do is just work it in with a nice slow and steady retrieve. If you work this bait too fast, it's gonna blow out and roll over. And if you fish it too slow, you're not gonna get any action. So you gotta really dial in and get that magic um, reel speed to get the bait to work just perfect. It's not quite a semi-slack line, um, but it's almost in my slack and you can feel that bait moving and then what i really like to do is you know, after i crank it you know five six seven times i like to impart secondary action with my rod and do a couple of rod twitches like this and i found that like nine out of ten of my bites i'm not sure if the fish i caught earlier um bit after i did rod, rod twitches i think they did but a lot of my bites come right over to those rod twitches and it's kind of like that shad you know it's swimming slow and then those little twitches make it look like it's dying and it's just something that triggers those fish. So the fish will follow this bait for a while. And then you just do a little something special like that. They just can't resist it, they just eat it. 
Anyways, that's basically it. That's how I throw this bait all the time. Just long cast, slow retrieve, um, give a few rod twitches here and there, and hold on after you do those rod twitches because a lot of your bites are gonna come right after you do those rod twitches. Little guy. <laughs> oh my god, he hit it so hard. That's crazy. Look at this. Is that a bass? <laughs> Look at that. It's been a while since we cooked up with anything. And this just goes to show you, you can tie on this big six inch swim bait, catch a handful of little guys like this, and you can catch the big ones. <laughs> Can't believe that's how big that fish was. He hit it so hard. Oh well, I'll send it back. Okay, it's been a while since either of us have had a bite. So we're about to try a different spot. We're about to go to the back of a creek and hopefully I can catch fish because I have not caught a fish all day. I've not even had a bite. And so I'm currently eating my feelings right now. What kind of chips are you eating? Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar? <laughs> can I have one? No. time is running out we are running out of daylight we're running out of spots to fish there's a spot right up here about 100 yards where i missed a fish earlier we're gonna try to see if we can catch that fish and then there's one more spot we're gonna hit and then i think we're gonna call it a day ah! we've made a bunch of casts had very few bites but it's been a good day it's been fun it has been fun it's but i do not want to get skunked i don't want you to get skunked either i really don't when she gets skunked she's not happy <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can catch this fish up here, go to the next spot, hopefully something good happens. Fingers, Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> well folks, that is gonna be it for today's video. We fished and fished and fished and fished some more, and then kept on fishing, and fished, and we didn't catch anything else. <laughs> <laughs> we got five bites all day long, and you know, oddly enough, that company that makes the babies called Fishing for Five, and those five bites could have just as easily been five, six pounders, each and every one of them, but hey, we had a great time here on the lake, and it was a beautiful day. I got zero bites. I feel bad that you didn't catch any fish, I'm but. I'm leaving the lake with a big old goose egg, I but feel that's okay. We had, it's a nice weather. We had. You're getting bu eaten by bugs. Yeah, you've been seeing me put my hood on. It's not because I'm like trying to block the sun, but it's because these bugs keep trying to get my ear and bite me, and they're just getting on our nerves all afternoon long. Anyways, we had fun out here, caught some really good fish. Um, we'll probably be back maybe later on in post spawn. This lake gets a little bit better later on in the year, so we'll probably come back in a few months and see if we can wrangle up some more of these big bass. But like we said, we enjoyed being out on the lake today, and we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button for us, and if you're not already, be sure you are subscribed to the channel so you do not miss out on any of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're calling Jay, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye, guys.